Good day, everyone. I'm David Paul. I'm the managing director of VectorVest in the uh, UK. And uh, this morning, I've got uh, three uh, buying opportunities uh, for you to consider. Uh, when the general market uh, turns back up, uh, and uh, at VectorVest, we firmly believe that uh, the most important thing to know is whether the market is rising or falling. Everything follows from that. So uh, at the start of these presentations, I always look at uh, what the UK market is doing, what the American market is doing. Uh, we firmly believe that direction is the key to making money uh, in the stock market. And uh, in the uh, next slide, I show the uh, uh, UK market. Uh, and on the next slide, you should be able to see uh, red triangles and green triangles, which uh, measure uh, the longest measure of the trend on vector vest and uh, right to the left of the chart you should be able to see that uh, red uh, triangle which in fact marked the sell off October November December last year uh, and January January the 9th is a green triangle which marked the uh, start of an up move uh, and uh, that up move there's been a little bit of turbulence but that uh, up move uh, still largely in place uh, but a couple of days ago, the long-term trend in the London market turned down. So as we go into the trading day today, uh, we do not recommend buying any stocks until that changes. Uh, the American market in the next slide showing pretty much the same story. Uh, and uh, as you can see, a, a red triangle uh, printed, oh, what, uh, 10 days ago, prior to the big sell-off, uh, which was caused by that uh, miss on the ISM uh, manufacturing number which came out uh, last Tuesday, I think. So um, uh, as we go into the trading day, it's a day to watch stop losses very carefully, not a day to initiate any new positions. But uh, when the bottom uh, finally comes and the, we get permission to buy stocks again, uh, there are three stocks that I think are worthy uh, of, of your interest. The first one uh, is a share that we've done exceptionally well in, in the next slide, uh, at uh, VectorVest. It's called Games Workshop. And at VectorVest, we started to buy into the share way back at about £13. Now, it's soared since that. Uh, and uh, at, uh, in, I think, April this year, it moved up very strongly out of that little consolidation. It then pulled sideways over the last month or two in what technicians refer to as a flag pattern. And those uh, technicians who uh, count waves will see five waves within the flag, which is pretty much uh, a textbook. It then broke, come back and kissed. In other words, their old uh, resistance became support. And over the last, what, week or so, when the general market has been falling hard, uh, there's been no sellers in that share at all. Uh, to me, when the general market starts to turn again, uh, the, uh, there should be another strong run up in Games Workshop. So I'm certainly holding mine uh, and uh, looking for uh, when the general market turns up to add to that position. Uh, and uh, that uh, uh, up move uh, that you can see on the chart, which chart is referred to as a flagpole, uh, that should be repeated. So lots and lots of uh, room for upside uh, in uh, Games Workshop. Some very good news out as well. Uh, the next slide uh, is a company called Ogean, which is a, a water uh, a company with it's a small company, 150 million market cap. It's got some very strong clients. Biggest client is Shell in reclamation work, uh, and uh, it uh, trended very strongly last year. We had some really good moves, and then it pulled sideways. Again, technicians would refer to that as a, a three-wave pullback, which is a corrective move. And it's now pushing up. It's pushed up very strongly in a very weak market, which is always a good sign. Uh, the uh, green uh, thick line above the price is the vector vest valuation. So we believe it's significantly undervalued. And uh, the blue line study in the window below the price is forecast earnings per share, which are growing strongly and linearly. Uh, when the general market turns, uh, that share, I believe, will punch much higher. So that looks uh, very interesting indeed. And the third share uh, is, in fact, uh, a much undervalued investment trust. Uh, and uh, as you can see, uh, trending strongly, uh, significantly undervalued, uh, earnings coming in very strongly indeed, trading uh, well below net asset value, 
uh, and uh, that looks as if it can move up very strongly indeed pays a, an excellent dividend for those people that are interested in dividends so uh, three opportunities that I think uh, can uh, stand you in very good stead uh, when the general market uh, turns uh, general markets had a couple of strong days upwards but still not enough uh, to confirm a new trend on the upside. So one has to be very careful, and I'm certainly being very careful watching stop losses carefully uh, until uh, we get uh, permission from the uh, overall market uh, to start buying shares again. When you follow the rules, you get very lucky indeed. On uh, Saturday, uh, November the 2nd in central London, uh, I'll be running uh, an investment seminar. It's a free seminar. Uh, the objective is to show you how to track your uh, investments in the UK's safest shares, how to actually make money in the UK's safest shares. Uh, don't avoid risk. Uh, man manage it in 30 minutes every evening. Thank you very much indeed.